a nice cool way to start the day. It is warm, the water, isn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Hey everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad and thanks for tuning in to another episode. Well, I've just finished a four and a half hour drive from Melbourne up to East Gippsland and today we find ourselves at Lake Tyres and this is one of my favourite fishing destinations. It's got one hell of a reputation for really big size flathead but there's a lot of awesome fish that you can catch here from brim, massive garfish lately, uh, Australian salmon, tailor and a whole heap of stuff. It's really a magnificent place where you've got ocean views and then you've got the estuary and there's some really awesome fishing around here. So we've brought up a whole heap of different things, soft plastics, hard body lures, swim baits, and what we're really hoping to get into is some big flathead. I've caught hundreds if not thousands of flathead around Port Phillip Bay. Most of them usually range from sort of that 35 through to about 55 centimeters and a really good one in my local waters is probably anything over 60. So we're really here hoping to get into some of those really big ones and I think that'll be some awesome footage at a wonderful location and some good company to share with you. So sit back and enjoy the show. Yep. Fish. Oh. Then again, why do you think we're after? <gasps> oh. I'm gonna put this on. Good. Come on. So this was just this is just on a seven inch turtle back. Huh. I said it didn't feel heavy, but I tell you what, I reckon this is a good fish, Jace. Whew. Tense moments, tense moments. <laughs> I'm not going too tight on it because I don't want to I don't want to muscle it too much oh, far out mate you can see the leader knot <laughs> yeah beautiful mate because this is we're going to see it oh it's a good fish I think I just saw a tiny bit of colour then oh come on oh yeah it's a good lizard it's a good lizard Man, it's fighting heaps harder than what I thought. What do we say? We need to get one that's about 75. Yep, 74, so. 74, yeah. yeah, no, he's a good fish. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't usually work flatties nice and easily, but... Come on. Oh, <laughs> come on. I'm going to land this one. Let's go. That's it. Don't worry about the camera landing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> we did it, mate. Right, so there we go. So we go. All right, beautiful. So that's the first fish of our trip. You can see there that's on the brag mat. And that is, what's that, 65 or 60? Yeah, about 66 centimeters. So that's a good fish. All right, so there we go. Great start to our Lake Ties trip. 66 centimeter flathead. I mean, look at that beautiful yellow coloration and the big head on that. And uh, the day has only just begun. That is what we're here for. Big flat head at Lake Ties. Now we've just measured this fish. I'm going to get it back in the water as soon as possible, but that there is 66 centimeters. So that's uh, it's not the biggest fly that I've ever caught, but I tell you what, catching one of that within the first hour of being here, 
That is absolutely awesome. And that's what it's all about. Let's get this beautiful big girl back in the water. So, grab the tail. <laughs> yes. Oh, Lake Tyres, this is why we come here. Giant flooded. And uh, we've only just started our trip, so 66 centimetres, that's the mark to beat. <laughs> we are in. I'm just going to put this rod down here so we don't lose the rod. That was almost instantaneous. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, what was that on, mate? A Rimmon 45 in Bluegill. In Bluegill? Yep. Yeah. Tell you what, when they hit a hard body, they hit it they hard. They hit it hard, mate. Yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't sort of, you know, pick at it. Now I'm going to come behind you and just grab that net. So yep. you stay there. Good fish. There we go. Let's go nice and easy on it, mate. What a place. Yes. No. It's a huge brim. Oh, it's got the big blue nose on it too, mate. You know they're bruises. Went... Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. What a cracker. Beautiful. 38 centimetre brim. The old blue nose. Well, there you go. Nice 38 centimetre brim. That was caught on the brim 45 on... Um, in bluegill colour. Been working pretty well here at Tyres lately, so yeah, that's been my go-to. And um, yeah, not a bad little specimen, that's for sure. Look at that beautiful fish. Awesome. Walking right up to his own. Mike's not big enough. Watching them, and I felt the line just go as I was just, and I, and I wasn't, uh, didn't have my other hand on the reel. Yep, 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 yep. All right, here we go. And this time we've ripped out the the little twitch freak. So, not too sure whether this is a brim or a flathead, but it just means you're gonna have to go real easy on it. it does feel weighty, so I reckon this could be. Another floody, but let's see. Oh, she's going around this way. Okay. <laughs> when you got gear this light, you just have to go nice and easy. And I think I've got a six pound on this rod, so you can't muscle them too much. But you know what? You just got to enjoy the fight because you know, sometimes you put a lot of hours in fishing and uh, you just want to enjoy those moments. Uh, Jason, this was on your hard body lure, mate. Yeah, correct, yep. So the Jerk this Minnow is, 65, yeah. This is the one with the skinnier profile. Oh my God. I've seen the boat and it doesn't want to come up. Definitely a flatty, I'd say. It's very weighty. Yep. We'll see what the... Yeah, it's a flatty. It's a big one. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is a nice flatty too. Look at that. <laughs> that nice uh, tiny cut. If you come up here behind me, you've got to actually just... Yeah, you'll be able to see the fish as well as we... Yep. You don't want to go too hard because... The trebles on the hard bodies are quite small. Oh, look at that. That's, oh, look at the colours on it. That's a beautiful... You can probably net him now, mate. Where is that one? <laughs> oh, there we go there. So, uh, look at that. So, uh, so that's a very similar size to the last one I caught, but on much lighter gear, I think this idea that you need to come with really big, heavy outfits. I mean, that was on my brim gear. So that's just a Miller rod twitch freak. And we've got one of Jason's hard body lures there. That's worked an absolute treat. So about three hookups on, uh, those fish, but what we're going to do, let's get this one out the net. 
1983. Yeah. What beautiful colours on that Getty said, yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. You do have to handle these fish with care, right? So we've just measured this flathead now. So here's 64 centimetres. So we've got one that I've caught, which is 63 centimetres. Then Jason's lost an absolute beast. So we're not quite sure how big that one was, but it came to the surface and started splashing about, shredded his leader. Then he got a beautiful 38 centimetre brim. And then this is our next beautiful fish. So that is a 64 centimetre flathead. So beautiful size flatty on a hard body lure. And we're gonna let this beautiful fish, we might do it on this side, Jace, I think, yep. just because we've got lots of gear there. Yep. All right, and I'm gonna get right in here. Supporting that fish's belly. And he's gonna hold its tail. And when she's ready to go, she's gonna swim off just like that. Look at that. Lake tires, you gotta love it. So that's two big flatties. Probably should have been three in about an hour and a half. And that we've only just begun. So 64 and 66. All right, we've got some bigger plans. So there you go there, that's the hard body lure that did the damage. And you know, a profile size of that is really awesome. That bib's gonna get you down to about one meter. And where we're fishing today, we're only at the moment in about 1.2 meters deep. So we're fishing pretty much right in between the surf and the entrance of the estuary. And I tell you what, this system here is full of prawns, it's full of garfish, it's full of mullet. And if you can use something like that, it's really good because it does imitate the stuff that's in this system. Jace is on. Oh, my line's coming near you, but that's okay. I don't want to, I just want to record you. On the hard body lure again? Yeah, mate, yeah. What is it? Silver? Yeah, it is silver. I'm gonna get the net, mate. Stay there for a second. They're liking that rounded crank profile, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that, we can see. Oh, look at him there. That's a nice fish. Look at the silver colors. Let's go easy on him. Nice, matey. That's a good fish. That. That's that's pushing 40. That's gotta be, yeah, I reckon it's close to 40. Woo. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. That's a nice fish. Look how silver it is. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish, mate. There we go. Another beautiful Lake Tyler's brim here. Caught on the brim in 45. As you can see, the battle scars and that thing is working pretty well here. Especially at Lake Tyler's. Absolutely loving it. Brim and flatties. Perfect colour profile. Yeah, absolutely yeah, perfect. Let's, yeah. In this tan colour, it actually looks like a, a prawn style. You know, a prawn colour, so that's what they're chasing. So Especially the brim. Pretty impressed, so yeah. yeah that, as you can see. What a beautiful fish. Yeah, we'll get him on the measure and see what it goes. Another beautiful fish, look at that. And that one there, spot on 38 centimetres. Beautiful. Yeah, nice job, one. mate. Let's get another one. Oh! A gar, oh, gar. garfish on a lure. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> and they had the camera roll in there too. Look at that. A garfish on a hard body lure is every time you retrieve a soft plastic or even a hard body lure, there are just these big garfish that are chasing it. Now, I've been working on a project on catching gars with soft plastics, and that's still a bit of a work in progress using very, very small hooks, stinger hooks, really small soft plastics, but. Uh, there you go there, we've caught one on one of Jason's hard body lures. So we'll get that out. Now garfish are these little mini marlins. They've got very, very small mouths and snouts. So they're not easy to catch on soft plastics and lures and often you might sort of foul hook them to get one. But there you go, that's a cool catch. And I tell you what, this system is absolutely chock full of big garfish. I'm gonna get him back, but for a lot of people there, that would be awesome eating. So, uh, but I'm trying to find that big brim just so that way Jason's not taking all the glory catching all the brim without me. Here we go again. 
mate, this lure is incredible. And um, we are fishing very shallow. And whoa! What was that? It's a massive tailor or something. Obviously, we're fishing in these real shallow flats, and what we're basically doing, we're just skipping these lures off the bottom. And what it's doing, it's getting a lot of reaction strikes. And oh, <laughs> he's pulled it. He's pulled it. Oh, no. Oh, that yeah. was a big, big tailor. And you could see that was jumping and skipping. And you can tell with tailor, they've got very, very sharp teeth and they shred leaders. But I tell you what, uh, that was a lot of fun. That went absolutely berserk. And uh, we almost got a boat side, but jumped out of the air and spat that hook. And unfortunately, my leader is shredded and that lure is bye bye. But um, man, fishing in the shallows here is a lot, a lot of fun. So we're going to rig up another leader get stuck back into the action. Now gear selection can be quite tricky when you come to a place like Lake Tyres and that's because one moment you can be targeting metre size flathead and next you're targeting smaller size brim and tailor and Australian salmon and all sorts of stuff. It really is a diverse system but that can make gear selection a little bit tricky and, and those who follow the show will know that we generally like to push the limits and live a little bit dangerously and fish really finesse. So I'm going to show you three rod outfits that I've brought with me really starting at that very very finesse space and then kind of moving up the stack so this is my dedicated spin rod for targeting brim especially when i'm flicking hard body lures so this is just a miller rod twitch freak i've got a 2000 size luvius already on there that spool with six pound braid and one rod length of six pound fluorocarbon leader obviously these rods are very very nice and lightweight usually going to be flicking things like this shallow diving and mid diving hard body lures like that it's a lot of fun where you do a lot of the twitch, twitch pause. You're really digging that bib into the sand, trying to get it to puff up, trying to get a reaction strike out of some of those species, but very, very nice and lightweight. Then as we move up the stack, I've got this rod here. So this is my two to five kilo rod. You know, I use this rod a lot in the bay targeting flat out. So it's a really nice rod for that. And this is gonna be absolutely perfect for some of those bigger size model fish. So we've seen some massive tailor busting up this morning. And obviously we are trying to get into some bigger size flathead. So two to five kilo rod, 2,500 size reel. I've got this spooled with 12 pound braid, one rod length of 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna be flicking a lot of soft plastics around that size. Four inch paddle tails, five inch jerk baits, anything that's probably a slightly on the larger size, even some of his seven inch turtle backs, that sort of stuff's gonna be really awesome around here. So we're gonna be using quite that a lot. And the other thing you can really do if you really, really wanna step it up and you wanna throw some big stuff because you're really eager to try and, you know, sort of chase that big metery flathead, then you know, I've got something here. So this is just a swim bait outfit. So this is significantly stronger, this one. So this is like a five to seven kilo rod, got a 4,000 size reel. And really the main reason why we're using this is, you know, you can be flicking some really big, heavy swim baits like that. Anything up to about 200 mils in size. I think that one there is 150 mils. And these work fantastic in shallow waters. They've got a very, very slow sinking rate, that jointed minnow style, you get that really good swimming action. And the key with these rods is you need something with a very, very stiff rod tip. So that way you don't snap your rod when you're casting big and heavy lures like that because some of these will weigh up to sort of 50, 60, 70 grams. And uh, I tell you what, you're really targeting the big stuff when you pull this out and you're throwing that. But there's three rods that you could bring with you. So from my point of view, I've got the finesse stuff covered, we've got the medium stuff covered, and we've got the big guns covered. Anyway, that's enough yapping. Let's go in and see if we can catch another big flathead or two. If you enjoyed the episode, then become a Fishing Mad member. It's easy to join by visiting www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member and gain access to an online portal that's full of helpful fishing content, including detailed workshops, fishing reports, rigging tutorials, podcasts, giveaways, competitions, maps, gear reviews, sounder training, exclusive videos, and much more. It's a great platform and helps to support everything we do at Fishing Mad, so become a member today.